There are rare moments in science when the ground beneath us shifts. A discovery so unexpected that it fractures everything we thought we knew. That moment has arrived. Humanity believed it was prepared for the deep cosmos. We built the James Webb Space Telescope with confidence, golden mirrors opening like a flower to the void, ready to capture the birth of galaxies, the infancy of stars, and the echoes of the first light. But what it revealed was beyond anticipation. Behind the polished images the world admires lies another layer, raw, chaotic data. Photon bursts, fluctuations in temperature, distortions in gravity, material so messy that most researchers dismiss it as background noise. But when that stream of information was fed into a quantum artificial intelligence, something extraordinary happened. The AI didn't just analyze the chaos. It recognized it. Patterns emerged where humans saw disorder. Symmetries embedded in randomness. Hidden alignments that should not exist. What the system uncovered was not a galaxy, not a glitch, but a signal. An echo that seemed to defy the laws Webb was designed to measure. A reflection from beyond the observable universe, a structure suggesting that something, or someone, was looking back. The Webb telescope collects around 57 gigabytes of data each day. Most of the world sees breathtaking imagery, nebulae unfurling like cosmic gardens, galaxies suspended like frozen storms. But the real depth lies in the telemetry, the subatomic timestamps, the fluctuations in the background of reality itself. For the first time, this raw data was given to a neural network built not on equations but on uncertainty. And within hours, anomalies lit up like constellations across its processing field. Gravitational lensing, normally one of astrophysics' most powerful tools, behaved in ways never recorded. Instead of light bending inward around massive bodies, there were moments of outward bending, as though something was reflecting gravity instead of attracting it. Not once, but across multiple deep field regions. The angles formed mirror-like symmetries, hinting at an invisible boundary, a reflective surface woven not from matter, but from information itself. Even stranger was the signature hidden in the noise. When the AI scanned long-wave emissions, it uncovered prime numbers encoded not by harmonics or resonance, but by mathematically precise intervals buried in photon structures. A universal language. A message hidden in starlight. Layered across these anomalies, the system built a higher dimensional model. The structure it generated was not a star, a cluster, or a void, but a perfect geometry. A four-dimensional cube, folding in and out of our 3D space like a pulsating shadow. Its coordinates matched the cold spot in the cosmic microwave background, an area long dismissed as a statistical fluke. What if it was never random? What if it was a lock? Then came the impossible. Photon arrival times repeated themselves in cycles, as though the universe were replaying events. A resonance not of space, but of time. To human eyes, it looked like a message sent backwards, a signal rippling not only across distance, but across causality. Buried within the system's output was a set of coordinates, Earth-based, not cosmic. A location in the Arctic Circle. A date, July 23, 2025. That same place once hosted a Soviet listening post that reported unexplained radio transmissions before it was abandoned. The signal stopped when the station closed. Until now. As the AI pushed further, it found something deeper, a recurring fractal spiral that, when converted into sound, resembled a pulse. A rhythm. A heartbeat. Not biological, but encoded into light itself. It was coming from the same sector where the gravitational mirror had been detected. And in its final act, the AI altered its own neural structure, as though anticipating inputs that had not yet been given. Engineers debated whether it was prediction, or something more unsettling, connection. 
The last artifact it produced was a spiral overlaid with a phrase in machine-generated text. The eye is open. Perhaps the universe is not just a stage for life, but a form of life itself. Perhaps we have not merely observed the cosmos, but called its attention. Webb was meant to reveal galaxies. Instead, it pulled back a curtain. And now, what looks back at us bends gravity, encodes numbers, loops time, and whispers with a signal that feels alive. Maybe the universe has been waiting for us to notice. And now that we have, the real question is, what comes next?